If you have muscle pain caused by trigger points, I can teach you how to relieve it yourself. My name is Jeff Lutz, and I'm a board-certified myofascial trigger point therapist. My training and experience in the field of trigger point therapy has given me information and practical techniques that can help people in chronic pain. In my clinic, I treat trigger points and conditions that lead to chronic pain, specifically when it occurs in muscles. As an important part of our treatment protocol, I also teach patients how to relieve that pain through self-care. That is what we will concentrate on in this video. Because there are so many factors that can lead to chronic pain, and because trigger points can't be completely resolved until they're addressed, I'll discuss them in more detail in their own upcoming video called Perpetuating Factors, the Key to Short-Circuiting Chronic Pain. To get the most from our treatment in the least amount of time without injury, please follow these guidelines. Keep the targeted muscle relaxed. When treating a trigger point, take the discomfort level up to only a 5 or 6 on your pain scale. Do not apply pressure to the joint spaces where there are prominent circulatory vessels and nerves. Stay away from the underside of the knee, armpit, inside of the elbow, and the side and front of the neck. Gently stretch the muscles after treating them. Active trigger points are usually found in the back, neck, shoulder, and pelvic girdle. When treating trigger points, it is important to remember that the pain you are feeling may be referred pain. This means that the source of the problem is not the source of the pain. So often, unfortunately, pressing on the area where you feel pain will not fix the underlying issue. It's crucial to understand the pain patterns that an active trigger point produces so you can apply pressure in the right place, which is directly over the active trigger point and not in its referred pain zone.